Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this video I'm going to show you how you can test for chlorine in plastics that you are going to melt with your laser cutter when you are cutting or engraving them. So if you happen to have a laser cutter then well a lot of people will come to you and ask you if you can uh, engrave or cut some things that they bring to you and well you don't know the material then or for example if you want to uh, have your uh, tools engraved well you can do that with your laser cutter so you can put your name in it and this is something which is nice to do but if it's good for your health or not it's determined by the type of material that it is and one of the very nasty things that can uh, exhaust or get free when uh, when burning plastics is chlorine gas and chlorine gas uh, it was used in wars to kill people so it's really a nasty gas and you don't want to breathe it in now there is a very simple test to test for chlorine gas and therefore you need a copper wire like I have here and you need a burner like I have here and well, let me show you the test because it's actually very simple you take a piece of copper wire and you heat it up until the point where it gets red hot so this is what I'm doing and if you look carefully you will see a flame here after the copper wire and it's a little bit red which is good. Now I'm going to melt some plastic and it will be on the copper wire and now I'm going to heat it up again and see what kind of color the flame will have that comes after the, 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 the uh, flamethrower and you will see it turns a little bit red. This is okay, this is no problem at all, this is something which is uh, not really a health risk when it concerns chlorine gas. So this is a material that I can safely cut. Now for example here this is the the, uh, the other part of this copper wire it was like this. Now let's see what happens this is polyphenol chloride uh, PVC let's see what happens if I heat up this material because I know this contains chlorine gas so I again heat up my copper wire when it's red hot and this is the moment it gets red hot I just use it like this so I make sure that some of the plastic will touch the copper and now again I will do this and see the green flame. This is the flame of death. This is chlorine cast being produced. And it melts away and then it turns into a red flame again. But as long as you see that green flame come off your copper wire, then you know that chlorine gas is being produced and you don't wanna yeah, you don't wanna work with this material. Now some plastics uh, are well really something you can cut into because this screwdriver for example also is, is a yeah, type of plastic on the handle and uh, if I want to make sure that this is safe to work with well I do the same test like this and well see the flame there is no green flame it just turns orange no problem at all I can use this I can use this to engrave and uh, there can be other health issues but not the chlorine gas but this material this is really something which is a nasty material and you don't want to breathe it in I'll show you again how the flame looks like I'm going to melt a bit of this like this here we have the flamethrower oh, wow the green flame here this really is a risk so make sure you don't breathe in these fumes of course this room is well ventilated and uh, I made sure that this was a safe thing to do for recording this video but I hope you stay safe as well when you are working with your laser cutter so 
please make sure you do this test as well. It's a very cheap but very usable test. And uh, well, it can save your health, uh, but it can also save the health of your machine because that gas that comes off, that chlorine gas, is also, uh, yeah, it's, it's an acid and it can really destroy the things around you. So I urge you, uh, be safe. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel and to visit my, uh, well, my website. Because on my website you will find a ton of information about laser cutting, about 3D printing and everything related. So thanks for watching and up until next time.